Hey, I'm Katie. I grew up in church the majority of my life. I made the decision to be baptized when I was around six years old. And that's not to say you can't be saved at a young age, because you definitely can. But for me, it was something I thought you were supposed to do when you went to church. My mom died when I was 13, and I tried to find peace and comfort in God. But honestly, even though I wouldn't admit it, I was kind of mad at God. I didn't understand why that had to be part of His plan. I then lived my life trying to be a good person. I didn't want to make God mad at me, and in a way, I felt like Him taking my mom from me was punishment. But something always felt like it was missing. I had encountered God. I had felt God move at D-Now, 1045, and revivals. But I was always left feeling like I was missing a piece. When I was in high school, I realized what was missing. I had never fully surrendered to God. But I was scared to admit that at this point because I had grown up in ch church and said I was a Christian, and I was scared of what people might think. So I continued to try to live for God and to try to be a good person, but it's impossible without God. When I got to college, I hit a breaking point. I decided maybe Christianity wasn't for me. I could say I believe in God, but I didn't want to live for Him. So I did everything I wasn't supposed to do. I slept around, drank more days than not, and lived party to party. I did whatever else I thought would fill that missing piece. Then I found myself my first week of my sophomore year staring at a positive pregnancy test. I was 19 years old, scared, poor, and such a broken individual. I decided to go to Doug and Missy's house and talk with Missy. I prayed for my salvation and it was something along the lines of, God, I'm sorry for running from you for so long. I can't do this by myself. And then I wish I could say I lived my pregnancy trusting this was God's plan for my life, but I didn't. I was still so scared and I still believed so many lies from the enemy. I was a new Christian and honestly, it was really hard to fully trust God that he could turn all that sin and shame I felt into good. Then, on Easter weekend 2021, I welcomed the most perfect baby into the world. I instantly felt so much peace from God. This was His plan all along, and He never left me alone. God turned my brokenness and sin into something so beautiful, and now I have a little tiny reminder of His redeeming love. He saved me, and He sent Camilla as my reminder. So I urge you, if you feel an emptiness or like something is missing, I promise you won't find it at a party or within another person. You're not too far gone and you haven't read God's plan for your life. Sure, it takes courage, but it's so worth it to experience the fullness of God. Making that leap of faith and fully surrendering my life to Him was the best decision I ever made. And I pray I can teach my daughter to do the same. Katie, I'm so happy for you. And we all look forward to seeing how God's going to use you for His glory and to build His kingdom. Is it your public profession of faith that Jesus Christ is Lord of your life? Yes, sir. And I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah.